Well, hello, Pisces. Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. This is going to be your reading for February. Uh, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. Therefore, the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Oh, you dig what I'm saying. Also, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Okay, so we've got your over inner, overall energies here. Past, present, future energies in the second row. Third row are the clarifiers, and this vertical row here is either a summary or advice from spirit, depending on how they're feeling today. So, without further ado, straighten this up. And let's get started. Okay. So, number 40, Hiaka, Sorceress of Lights. That up. Hiaka. No enemy shall defeat you, not by night, nor by day, nor upon the earth, nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. We shall fulfill destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you even in this moment. These are your sacred powers and with them you shall take every step upon your journey successfully and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. Hiaka, Sorceress of Light. All right, so let's look at these past, present, and future energies here. All right, so we've got the Two of Pentacles, we've got the Ten of Wands, and we've got the Death. What I am seeing here is the end of juggling. The end of the juggling. So with... With the Two of Pentacles, this is, um, yeah, this is like a juggling card. Um, living paycheck to paycheck, um, having to keep, having to keep certain balls in the air. Um, sometimes juggling obligations. All right, um, giving to two, that sort of thing. But whatever it was that you were juggling it was causing a burden with this ten of wands here. Like it was, it was heavy. It was um, getting in the way of you being able to live your life. And also threatening to bring it all crashing down. And then with this death card here, this symbolizes either the end of something or the start of something new. Like with death, that's in, it, it could be the end of something, it could be the beginning, who, who knows, who knows. But there's, there's um, a changing of the guard, so to speak. Hmm. Changing the guard, two of pentacles. All right, so clarifying the two of pentacles, we have the six of cups, the sun, and the queen of cups. So before I 
probably bring these in a little bit closer to a little bit closer to the camera. The first thing I see off rip is the balance between the blue and the yellow and how how that flows among all three of these cards, right? So this is speaking what you know to be true. There's, I see healing, I see newness. I see authenticity, I see the calm in the calm in knowing what you're about. So with the Six of Cups, this is a card of like a red passage. This is this is nostalgia. This is childlike joy, right? This, this is equity. It's the feeling that you get when you look upon yesteryear embodies the six of cups, right? And then we've got the sun card with that, which is about illumination. It's one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's Oh, it's the nourishment from above with the warmth and the vitamin D that the sun provides with the with the light that causes that aids the plants. It, it's life giving. It's illuminating. I'm thinking summertime and again with that nostalgia like all of the joy that comes along with the memories of summertime and taking that taking that information taking taking those memories queen of cups and transmuting them into something that is tangible and that can reproduce. You can take those feelings and, and do something with them. And not only just take these in memories and do something with them, but do something with them and do it well. So, the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Star card. In the same way that we have this blue to yellow, now we have this blue and white and green. So there's still, you know, that authenticity, but now we've got the newness the newness with the white, the newness with, with these, with the pages, just, just pages in general, because when we're talking about pages, we're talking about the, the first steps of something lasting, right? Like of the court cards, the pages are the first steps in all of the court cards. So, for example, you've got this, the page of pentacles, right? And the page of pentacles is observing, is taking copious notes, right? It's the, it, it's, it's the court secretary. The, the treasure, right? And you see that in this particular card that 
they're preparing that they're preparing the chicken for sacrifice. And they understand that even though this is hard work, it's tedious work, right? And that all of the small details have lasting effects. The Page of Pentacles is keenly aware of this fact and takes their job very seriously, right? It may take them the longest because they are the slowest moving pages in the deck, but they may be slow, but they get things done properly because they understand the importance of the small things, right? And then we have the Page of Cups here. And again, still that early energy, but now we're talking about emotional content. And in this picture, I love this one, because in this picture, we've got a first year. We have someone who's new. They're, this is their, their first year in the actual practice. And for that time, as they are getting to know, as they're getting to know their saints, as they're getting to know As they are gaining a deeper understanding of what it is that they they are coming into, there's also a deeper knowledge of self required. Just why the face is covered, because it's not about getting information from the outside world. This is the time to steal away and become one with source and get to know source better by knowing yourself better. But again, first steps, first steps. And that starts the healing process with the star card. The star card it, in this, it's, it's, it's set away. It's set up high, out of reach of prying eyes and ears and arms, set aside from prying eyes and ears and arms, right? Not only to have, not only to have a better relationship with source and self, but also to provide healing, provide healing from absorbing and accepting the burdens placed on you by others and assuming them and assuming other people's burdens as your own you're being pulled apart from this to start this new process this death here right and the death is clarified by the seven of wands, the wheel of fortune, and the eight of wands. Okay, again with this balance, you've got you've got this burst like pattern happening here. But again, one is red, one is blue, but we're still talking about still about this newness here right now with the seven of wands the seven of wands is the card of defense on all ends right so in layman's terms this is heavy business, right? And you are being called to drop all of that. And as you're dropping all of that, um, all those who place these burdens on you before that you are now dropping are going to have something to say about it. But this 
the seven of wands is that card of defense. Like, you know, you say what you want, but it's not going to stop this. It's not going to stop this process here. It's not going to stop this rebirth here. Because I'm on the right path. So says spirit. So if the source is telling me that I'm on the right path, and it really doesn't matter what you have to say to me. If source is telling me that I'm on the right path, and it really doesn't matter what you have to say to me. Because my ears are tuned to something completely different. I'm no longer listening to what you say about me. I'm listening to what source says about me. And I'm going and I'm here. I'm here to follow that path. I'm serious about it. I'm dedicated to it. So you can say whatever it is that you want to say. But I'm moving on. Because I got big stuff to do. Okay, so let's look at these final messages. I adjust all of this. Let's look at these final messages. And we have the Six of Swords. Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Whoops. and the Eight of Swords. As a quick summary, you're going to move to calmer waters because it's time for you to even though you're going to leave some things behind and it's going to hurt. However, this is going to work out long term for you and for the generations behind you, much to your benefit. You have to make sure that you keep your filters intact. They may seem awfully restrictive now, but you'll be able to loosen up in time. But right now, it's about keeping those filters and keeping that mesh on, okay? Okay, Pisces, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye now.